Everyone, please welcome Angela to the show. Thanks so much for being here. Hi. Angela, when you look back at everything you've been through, are there things that you wish you had done differently? Yes, absolutely. I wish that I had weighed in a lot more options than just sticking straight to what the doctor said. He said, you need the surgery, let's do it. Um, had I known what I know now, that I can control my weight through the diet that works for me, through fitness, through you know, just paying attention to what I'm eating and how much that I'm eating and not having this mindset that, oh, well, I just ran six miles, I can go eat ice cream, that I could control you know, my weight on my own. It was basically helping me be bulimic. So, I mean, it's such a strong message because I think anybody entertaining bariatric surgery needs to know that it's not a bed of roses, that there are side effects, it's lifestyle changes that you have to accept exactly. and deal with. And that's the thing is I, ne I didn't, even though my doctor told me, you know, you need to, to watch what you're eating, you need to change your lifestyle, I didn't. And so when I had it taken off, I didn't have, you know, that, that know-how. I didn't have, you know, in my head, this is what you need to be eating, this is what you need to be doing. I was, all I knew how to do was throw up. When these bands are taken off, most people gain back all of their weight, you know, if not more than what they initially weighed before. And, you know, when I started to put on weight, I was like, I'm not doing this again. I was like, I've got to get this under control. So I, you know, I got really diligent with my fitness routine, with my nutrition, everything, and have been able to maintain a healthy weight for three years. Good for you. And... Your whole story to me highlights where we've been, where we're headed, which is we were in a place where, look, I'm not gonna say that, that a lap band procedure isn't still really effective for some people, but for most people, that may not be the best way. I know you're still dealing with, with some of the sequela, with the loose skin, and I, and I know that that's something that's affected your quality of life. It definitely has. Like, not only does it look bad, it, you know, it causes some other issues. Like, when it first happened, like, I would get these rashes, like, almost like, mm -hmm. um, like, athlete's foot type rashes. And that, you know, that interferes with fitness, too. You know, I want to run, and I can run, but it hurts. And I, you know, I want to jump, but it hurts. Like, mm -hmm. and, you know, then I'll end up with, like, the, you know, rashes and all this stuff. So it's like... It's like, what's the point? Well, let, let me cut you off, Angela, because we actually reached out to a good friend of mine, Dr. Nick Sivakang at Ageless Solutions in Nashville, Tennessee. He's double board certified in functional medicine, as well as plastic and reconstructive surgery. He's going to address your health needs, both inside and out. If you're a good candidate, he's agreed to give you body contouring and excess skin removal surgery for absolutely free. <laughs> Wow, thank you guys so much. Y'all have no idea how much that means to me. <laughs> and I know he's actually really excited to take care of you, and thank you for sharing your story.